Hey guys, how's it going? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to discuss happiness. Okay, and everyone's like, are you becoming RSD? What the fuck are you doing talking about success and happiness? I'm talking about how this shit applies to, to game and seduction. And the whole point of the brand being John Anthony Lifestyle is to touch on optimizing your overall life as a man, okay? Your happiness, your success, your motivation, all that stuff. I'm not going to get all woo-woo, okay? When I talk about these fringe topics to dating, it's not uh, just a bunch of hot air, woo-woo BS, okay, like RSD puts out. I'm still giving practical, actionable stuff, and I'm tying it back into dating. So I will tie this directly into dating in a second here, but let me first uh, define <laughs> what Friedrich Nietzsche calls good and bad and happiness. Okay, he's my favorite philosopher. I think he hit the nail on the head. Uh, before we continue, please like and subscribe below. Make sure you press the bell button to, to be alerted of the new videos every week. So, Friedrich Nietzsche, uh, he published a book in 1895 called The Antichrist. <laughs> a bunch of people fucking click exit right as I said that. He says <clears throat> in the quote here, what is good? All that heightens the feeling of power, the will to power, power itself in a man. What is, or in man, what is bad? All that proceeds from weakness. What is happiness? The feeling that power increases, that resistance is overcome. Okay, so let's go straight into how this applies to game and seduction and pickup, okay? When you are advancing at this, you are leveling up, okay? You can think of it, like for those of you that have played like video games called RPGs, role-playing games, you start off at level one, you're going around fighting enemies, like collecting different weapons and different items and stuff like this. But as you gain more experience points, EXP, you proceed to level two, level three. You can't just go from level one to 100, okay? Like that wouldn't, first of all, that wouldn't be much fun. Second of all, because you wouldn't have to go through the whole journey. Second of all, uh, you know, you can't take someone with no experience and no skill and all of a sudden take them to, you know, fight like the most powerful creatures in that video game or handle the most intense and complex situations. So tying into my video from yesterday about iterating to improve and to keep getting closer and closer to an ideal goal state and accomplishing what it is you set out to master or set out to do really well at, you have to make these incremental improvements, okay? So that ties directly into happiness. And as Nietzsche says, what is happiness? The feeling that power increases, that resistance is overcome, okay? So as you like get better at dealing with certain situations with women, that's going to directly lead to an increase in happiness, okay? Because you're going to have overcome difficult situations and you're going to be rewarded with sex, with hot girls, okay? With affection and with genuine interest from attractive members of the opposite sex that you otherwise wouldn't have had before, okay? As you increase your amount lifted in the gym from week to week, okay? That's literally overcoming resistance <laughs> okay resistance is being overcome you're adding on to the amount you can lift from week to week okay um with business you can keep expanding on what you're doing with that okay it ties directly into the iteration but i want you guys to use this as a as a model for happiness okay because a lot of people they stagnate they accept mediocrity they accept accept being average and they get complacent and that leads to a drop in happiness okay it's nice to have that spark to have that challenge to have something you're working towards okay if you want to travel more set goals i'm going to see asia now i'm going to see south america now i'm going to see europe now if you want to make more money in business okay map out what you need to do iteratively improve as the resistance is overcome and you make these small victories, which later lead to bigger victories, happiness will be increasing, okay? 
with this game stuff, with this pickup stuff. Okay, it's not an easy journey, and I've made it as quick and painless for you as possible. Okay, so you're gonna be leveling up much faster. If you took this standard character in the video game analogy, and he's just going around trying to figure things out on his own, he's gonna be going from level one to level two extremely slowly, and he's gonna hit plateaus where he's wandering around the video game for years, stuck at a certain level, okay, probably a very low level. With my training, okay, the live programs and the digital products, and to a lesser extent what you find on the channel, but the stuff on the channel is still good, um, this is going to really cause you to just really bounce up in levels, okay? Sometimes bypassing a whole bunch of levels very quickly. And in turn, you are going to overcome resistance, obstacles that you once faced before, okay? I'm not going to name this guy's name, but I had a guy message me. Um, basically, he was on the Todd program in London in April, and I was also teaching a live program in London in April. And he came on my program for one day during the Todd program um, because I told him I'd give him a taste of what a real program is like. And he told me he learned more on that one day by far than the whole 10 days with Todd. And he was just so exhilarated from the, from the stuff that I taught him that all this resistance stuff was being overcome, etc. But he's like really down on himself. Like I didn't get... You know, and I wasn't paying like, I wasn't giving him the full experience, okay, because I had paying clients in the program. Um, so he's still stuck in a way because I didn't get to officially train him. He was just listening to me training the other students, etc. Um, but he was texting me like, oh, I, you know, I have no self-worth in my head and, you know, chicks don't like me and this and that. And um, I'm getting friend zoned. Like, I'll take a chick out, and, like, she tells me she just wants to be friends and this and that. And then he texted me the other day that he just broke his slump with, like, a fat, like, 30, 38-year-old or whatever. But my point there is, this was just a recent example that came, came to mind just now, but my point there is he felt happiness from that, even though that would cause unhappiness for me because it's, <laughs> it's a relative thing, Okay. So he's just trying to like break out of this, I'm nothing, I'm not getting any girls, and he really wasn't getting any girls, to get, you know, something, and that caused happiness, and I'm going to be officially training him, and that's going to cause him to be able to get hot girls consistently, and the, re the reason why I brought that up is because right now he's looking at these hot girls as like the resistance, it's like this problem he cannot solve, it's like this weak area of his life. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't, you know, it, it's it's largely a set of resistance that needs to be overcome. And I will help teach him that stuff and he will overcome it and that will lead to more and more happiness. So really tying into yesterday's video with the iteration stuff, plot out the different areas of your life that are important to you, whether it be business, uh, relationships, Okay, family and friends, traveling, okay, your financial situation, your fitness situation, your health situation. And all these things are critical components. Like, yeah, you can get really, really, really good at, at pickup and game, okay, but you want to like bolster all these things up at the same time, okay, to be optimally fulfilled and happy in your life, okay? I will repeat that quote one more time because it's, I think it's very, very good. What is good? All that heightens the feeling of power, the will to power, and power itself in man. What is bad? All that proceeds from weakness. Okay? So crush the fucking, the weakness. Crush those negative mindsets. Crush the, oh, I don't want to go to the gym today. I don't want to lift this last rep. Okay? I don't want to go the extra mile in business. Okay? There's always an easy way out. I've met some really, really rich, successful people in my life. And not even just in the financial sector, people that have really mastered different things. And, and even looking at my own diligence with the, the pickup and seduction stuff, there's always, like the exit is just is always right along next to you the whole time, right? And it's the easy way. And it's easy to just give up. Like, 
this really rich marketer, he sent me this, this motivational video and it's talking about how like you're fighting like this upstream current. Okay. And there's all these other like tiny little, um, streams going off the main river, ready to wash you away at any second, right? Like it's, you're, you're able to give up and go back to mediocrity and, and go back to, to weakness and all this stuff at any point. Okay. No one has a gun to your head, but my point here is in order to, to achieve true and, you know, lasting happiness, always be challenging yourself and moving these things forward. Strive to be the best you can in all these different areas of your life and happiness will come. Okay. So what is happiness? The feeling, the power increases, the power is increasing and that resistance is being overcome. Okay. So whatever it is, your goals are go fucking knock them out of the park. We're coming up on the weekend. Get out to the club, get in the gym, tear up life. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below if you have not, and I will see you guys on Sunday. <laughs>